Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Southern Alliance Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torrance. So last time we looked at installing a Uni S-Disc Air in an Apple IIe, and this time we'll do the same thing but for the Apple IIc. So we've got the uh, Uni Disc Air C from Ishida Radio, and this is the one for the Apple IIc, not the Apple IIc Plus. Um, and we also have a Toshiba Flash Air card. And so what we need to do is actually install the uh, Flash Air card into the um, NES Disk Air and then just install this inside the uh, case of the Apple IIc and then hook up and see if it works. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the Flash Air card. And I'm going to do this by following the instructions over on the Nishida Radio website. Um, so the basic thing to do is after you insert the uh, SD card, the Flash Air card, uh, I just renamed it to Apple IIc. And then I went into the SDW LAN directory. Um, and copied all the files from Nishida Radio's uh, zip install directory into that SDW LAN. So this is the, the true type fonts, uh, the image directory, the JavaScript directory, list.htm, and then just like on the Apple IIe, I added a couple fonts of my own, the print chart 21 and PR number 3, and I changed the list.htm to use those fonts instead of the uh, provided ones. And then the last step is just to edit the config file um, and you can just do this any way you want. I just use the terminal. Um, the key is to put app mode equals five, which is station mode. Um, make sure to give it your app name, which is the name of your uh, web server that you want it to appear um, in your browser. So that's Apple IIc. And then uh, make sure to give it your local wireless SSID and its password. And then finally set upload equal to one so that you can upload files to the SD card. And that's all you have to do to configure it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, when I uh, was configuring the Flash Air card, I also went ahead and copied in a whole bunch of disk images. Um, you can do this using the upload feature uh, wirelessly, but it's actually a lot faster to just load them into the SD card. And so I copied one a large smart port disk image, this is the uh, sd2hdd.po, uh, so the PO is just ProDOS order, um, and you can see if we look at the size of this, it's actually a uh, 32 meg drive, um, so this has a whole bunch of stuff that I originally had on my Apple IIe, um, so I just copied it over to the 2C card, um, and then there's a whole bunch of subdirectories with all sorts of disk images, uh, so for example, I have a game subdirectory, with a whole bunch of games. I have utilities, which has a whole bunch of things like uh, the ATD Pro, no slot clock, uh, program writer, stuff like that. Um, there's some demo scene stuff. So this has some French touch things. Any disk images you want to put in here, basically, uh, it'll be able to read those. And this just saves a lot of time to do it now instead of uh, uploading it from the web browser. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, configure the Apple IIc hardware. Okay, so here's the UniS Disk Air card, and we've got the uh, Apple IIc open, so here's the uh, back of it here. Uh, installation is pretty simple, you just unplug the small connector, the small ribbon cable that goes from the internal drive down to the logic board, unplug that, uh, and you plug the UniS Disk Air in its place, and it should slip down nicely. Then you just take the uh, cable from the internal floppy and plug that into the UniS Disk Air. And then the last thing to do if you want to be able to use Drive 2, uh, you just plug the uh, pin. It's from pin, I believe it's 17 on the uh, UniS Disk Air. Um, and you just plug that into the pin um, that says Disk. 2 or drive 2 on the UniS Disk Air, just like that. Um, and that's all you have to do. 
And then finally we'll just take our SD card, our flash air card, which has already been formatted correctly, and we'll just insert that into the slot. And we'll go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Uh, so I'll fire up the switch. You see the disk drive light comes on at the back there. Um, that's drive number one. Um, but we don't have any disk images loaded, so that's why it says check disk drive. Okay, so we don't have any disk images in there, so let's just click on one. Um, how about Apple Writer? We'll click on that. We'll click on the disk drive itself, and you can see it loaded it in there. And we can even click on this and click uh, Drive 2 there if we wanted to load something into the second disk drive. Um, so now we should have those disk images loaded, and we can go ahead back over to the 2C, and let's reboot, control, open Apple reset. Um, the light's on and it is loading up uh, Apple Writer 1.1. There it is. So that seemed to work. Uh, and let's see, the next thing we could try is switch over and try and use a smart port uh, 32 megabyte drive. So to do that, we'll go back to the Mac and or you could also do this on your phone as well. It doesn't have to be on a uh, a PC, um, and we'll click on reset as smart. Um, so this will reset the um, Unity S Disk Air for smart port emulation. And you can see there's four possible drives. Um, we only have one uh, hard drive image, and so we'll click on that. We'll click on drive zero there. So that should be loaded, and then we can go back to the Apple 2C, uh, again hit reset uh, so that it reboots and this should now boot to our hard drive image. Um, so sure enough there it is. Uh, we have a nice little menu system. If I hit escape it'll just give me a catalog. Um, you can see the light flashing in the back and sure enough it tells me there's 50,000 free blocks. I've used 15,000. Um, so it looks like everything works really well. Um, just like on the Apple IIe, if we had a disk image that we wanted to uh, download back to our uh, Mac, we could go ahead and do that. Um, you can also upload new disk images, and um, yeah, and you can do this from your phone um, or from a uh, PC. All right, uh, one more quick thing. Let's just show how to use the actual... Uh, physical floppy. So let's see, we'll reboot right now. Um, and we're still using the uh, UniS Disk Air. Um, so what we'll do is over on the Mac, we will click uh, real five and a quarter over here. And then uh, let's just put in a disk. So we'll put in uh, Structress here. Uh, put that in there, reboot, and you can actually hear the drive going. Um, so now it's booting off of the uh, actual floppy disk, and we could have done the same thing also for the uh, second disk drive instead of the first disk drive if we had to, uh, let's say we had uh, a, a disk mounted on the UniS Disk Air in uh, drive one, we could have like a data disk in the actual real uh, floppy for drive two. Um, so this way you can still keep using your floppies as either drive one or drive two. Um, you can boot off of them as you see, so it just lets you do uh, either one. So the last thing I want to show you is the uh, custom LED that I put on. So I wanted to be able to see the uh, disk drive LED when the case was shut. Um, so what I did is I actually removed the LED off of the back of the UniS disk and then just ran a uh, put a put a, a, a little pin header in there and ran a wire across over to the front and the keyboard where there's the disk drive LED and then I just attached um, an extra header pin uh, to the existing LED. So now when I actually do um, anything with the disk drive, it'll actually light up the normal uh, drive LED. So you'll be able to see that through the case. Uh, and I didn't do anything with uh, the Drive 2 light, I just left that alone because I couldn't quite figure out where to put that in. And you're not going to use Drive 2 as often as Drive 1. Uh, but this at least lets me see what's going on with the Drive 1 activity 
uh, even when the Apple IIc case is closed. So that's about it for this time. If you have any questions or comments, uh, be sure to leave them down in the, uh, the comments below the video. And thanks for watching.